Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West channel. Well, I've hauled off and done it again. I've lost my steel once again. Now, I think it's going to show up eventually somewhere. But um, the last time I lost it, I said that I would take and spray paint it orange. and uh, Or maybe tie some, some orange paracord on it. But I've lost it again, so... Now is going to be the ideal time to go ahead and see if I can just make my own steel out of a file. And there's lots of videos online that shows you how to do it. Now, we know that a file is very, very hard. And I was wondering if I could drill a hole in here to put paracord in. Now, I could take a grinder and grind out on this side and that side and have two ears to where I could put paracord on. But I want to try drilling a hole in it even though this is extremely hard. And believe it or not, they say that rather than trying to use a drill bit or a tungsten drill bit, that you could use a masonry bit. So we're going to try, I think I have a little masonry bit and drill a hole right there. But before I go through all the trouble of cutting this off and taking the tang off and trying to drill a hole and fixing up a nice steel, let's just go ahead now I'm thinking that'd be about what I need right there. Let's go ahead and cut it off right here and just try this bottom section out and see if it's going to throw sparks at all. And I paid a dollar for this yesterday. It's a Nicholson file. And let me see if I can show you. I want to keep the emblem. I definitely, I definitely want to keep the emblem that says Nicholson. So let's see if I can clean some of the rust off of it. And then this side is the Nicholson logo, which Nicholson makes great files. So let's go ahead and cut it off right here and try this part, see if we're going to be able to get sparks off it at all. I think I can get better sparks off it if I could take these ridges off, smooth up the side. Of it. All right, let's see if that's going to work at all. It's got some little ridges left on there, but it's it's fairly smooth. Let's see if it'll make sparks at all. I'm going to try it out with some char cloth. Boy, all my edges are <laughs> all my edges are used up on that. Let's see. Oh yeah. Immediately throwing sparks, isn't it? They said it couldn't be done. That's a really good drill bit, though. That's a uh, special high-speed steel. That's not a cheap drill bit. It's not. It's not tungsten or carbide or anything. I didn't get centered, but but we're doing it freehand. Let me uh, chamfer that a little bit with a bigger drill bit. We'll chamfer it with this one. Let's 
see. That's where a piece of paracord will go, right there. I hate that it's off center, but what's you gonna do? I don't have a drill press. This is all freehand, so let's continue on with it. All right. Uh, I'm gonna take that tang off of that. I just want to take take this file those file ridges off the sides and just at least a little bit on top then I'll get some green paracord it'll make it slightly more visible when I drop it into the shadows to have that green paracord on there just let me go ahead and take some of these now, let me go off. find some green paracord I might not even care if my other steel ever turns up after we get done with this. Alright, every time I try to do the Cobra Weave, I have to go back to the tutorial on YouTube, and I'll leave that link in the description. But I got about two feet of cord, and the steel is centered. I'm going to come up about two inches, and we're going to make a loop from the right side, just lay it over here. Now this other end circles around this, circles around that tag end, and comes up through here. And carefully tighten that up because we want both sides to stay equal, stay the same length, and we want to keep our two inches right here, which that looks like two and a half inches. And then now we'll, we'll do the same thing, only on the left side. So, on this left side, we'll circle around to the front. And then this will go all the way around it and back up through here. And people keep saying how... <laughs> people keep saying how easy it is. It's the easiest weave you can do. Uh, my mind's not made for knots. It always confuses me. So now we're going to go back to the right side. Nothing left to do now but to try it out. Nicholson. I like that. I like that brand. They make some of the best files.
let's give it a try. All right. Really hard to find some dry leaves on the ground because right up under the first layer, right up under the very first layer is just as wet as can be. But char cloth being as hot as it is, we should be able to get it to go. So I actually want to try both pieces of flint. Both pieces, I've, I've beat off every sharp edge on these flints, so if you don't get it on the first, if I don't get it on the first strike, you know, it's nice to get it on the first strike, but usually it's going to take a lot more than that. So, and if I ever lose that one, I'll always have this for a standby, won't I? basically do these the same way going to take all this fine stuff right here and just keep bending it down in the center and poking it in in the center for the grass this is just stuff I find on the side of the road if the road crews don't get to it before I do I had located some really great stands of grass on the side of the road, and especially, you know, this time of the year, about January, is a great time to be breaking off a bunch of grass if you're going to keep it and use it all year long like I do because the grass is completely dried out. And I had located some on a somewhat deserted road, and by the time I could get to it a week later, the road crews came through and chopped it all down. So I was just able to get only just a very little bit, and that's this right here. So let's go ahead and see if we can get ignition a couple of times with our new steel. And I'm not going to tear this in half to expose edges because there's plenty of edges already on the side, but I, you know, I am going to fold it double. I think that increases my chances. And I think that I'll start, I'll hold the lanyard to the side like this when I go to strike. So let's start off with this one. See if I can find a sharp edge on it. This might work right here. Let's try it. Let's try that. Made those wet leaves just fire right up, didn't we? Need to bathe them a little bit right here so that they will continue to burn. Go 
because wet leaves do not like to burn. But they will if you play with them long enough. Go back to this one. Try it right there. Let's see if that'll work. Wet leaves. Although these these are a lot drier than that first attempt. We got them to go that time, didn't we? try the grass. So we use that one twice, it worked alright. And this one, oh, I see a, there's a good sharp edge right, man that's really sharp there. I didn't think I had any sharp edges left on it. I must have chipped a piece off of it, which made a good sharp edge. That's probably what happened. And this has plenty of good threads across the edge. I'm just going to fold it in half. And that good edge is... What's well, a good edge right there? If I can, if I can position my char cloth on top of it. Right there on the edge. Let's see what a difference a good edge makes. Wow. So, nothing wrong with the steel. It's just there's no sharp edges left on my flint. When we found that sharp edge on this one, it, it lighted up immediately. Ciao. I appreciate you joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one. Nicholson. 
I like that. I like that brand. They make some of the best files.